My name is Brian Anderson and I'm going to talk about what the slope function is and how to use it on Excel. The slope function calculates the slope of the linear regression line through a su supplied set of x and y values. The slope of a line describes the line's steepness, incline, or grade. The Excel slope function uses the following equation to calculate the slope of the linear regression line through a set of given points, and the values of x and y are the sample means, or the averages, of the known x's and the known y's. So in more comprehensible terms, the slope equation uses a set of x and y points. It then calculates the change in the set of known y values over the change in the set of known x values. This is why the slope is referred to as a calculation of rise over run. The slope function syntax is shown on the screen. As you can see, you must type slope, then type the known y's and known x's in that order inside the parentheses. In the slope function syntax, the slope function arguments are defined as follows. The known y's are an array of known y values, and the known x's are an array of known x values. Note that the length of the known x's array should be the same length as the known y's array, and the variance of the known x's must not be zero. Now let's check out how to use the slope function on Excel. The data ranging from cells F1 to G7 shows the x and y points that the graph is based on. Cell range F2 to F7 shows the known x points, and cell range G2 to G7 shows the known y points. The blue line on the graph is the plotted x and y points. Cell F9 shows the slope function syntax that is used to yield a slope of 4.63. The gray line on the graph illustrates the calculated slope of the line. This slope line shows that the line moves 4.63 units vertically for every unit it moves horizontally. Let's see how the slope function can be applied to real world situations. For example, the slope function can be used by businesses to generate a trend line of actual results. Visual trend lines of data such as sales volume, sales revenue, profit, and profit per unit data would be beneficial to illustrate business results. The slope function can also be used by engineers to determine the grade or incline of roads, railroad tracks, or topography of land. Thank you everyone for taking the time to listen to my presentation, and I hope you now have a better understanding of how to use the slope function on Excel. Thank you.